Hello everybody and welcome to our auction house trading guide. In our Krypton video, we discussed many of the different uses for the Clash of Streamers premium currency, Krypton. You can export heroes and shiny pets to the blockchain using Krypton, you can buy ability sets with Krypton, and you can challenge other players to do certain tasks for Krypton, as well as much more. Honestly, challenges alone make Krypton a currency worth getting. If you really want to mess with some friends, you can visit them, head into the gem mine building, and challenge them to keep the gem mine under 25% capacity for 6 days in a row. They may or may not have to stay up all night and click the gem mine every 2 hours to keep it under 25% capacity. Anyways, Krypton is awesome, but it can be rather expensive to get. So, how can you get some free Krypton? One of the best ways to earn a ton of free Krypton is by trading on the auction house. In this video, we're going to discuss some of the best possible approaches to take with the auction house so you can look to start making some free Krypton through auction house trading. Before we start, it's important that you first have a solid understanding of the auction house. It may look a bit confusing at first, but it really is rather simple to learn and understand. If you don't understand the auction house or how it works just yet, definitely pause the video and go check out our auction house explanation video first. Once you've done that, you're all ready to start learning how to earn some Krypton through auction house trading. In order to make Krypton on the auction house, it's very important to understand why people trade there. So, throughout the rest of the video, we're going to take a look at each asset category, streamer skins, pet skins, and loot cards, and discuss exactly why players would want to purchase these assets. From there, we can determine the best possible strategies to capitalize on this demand to earn some free Krypton. To start, let's take a look at streamer skins. Why would players want to buy streamer skins? One of the main reasons is achievement collection. Every new skin that you collect counts as a skin point and contributes to the skin points achievement. After collecting hundreds of achievements, you can get your skin buff percentage up by absolutely enormous amounts and improve your combat progression like crazy. This is one very significant late game way of improving your team, so you will definitely have players buying hundreds of different skins off of the auction house to help improve their combat progression. On top of that, you need to collect a ton of duplicate faces to fill in each section of the loyalty tree. For example, if I want to complete the smork section of my loyalty tree to buff all my I fill heroes by the maximum amount possible, I need to collect a total of 350 duplicate I fill faces. One of the ways I can do this is by heading into the auction house to purchase all I fill skins that are for sale. If enough of his skins are for sale, I can quickly and easily complete this section of the loyalty tree and get all my I fill heroes buffed to the maximum power possible. You'll also have people purchasing streamer skins simply because they like the way they look or the actual streamers themselves. Obviously there is a ton of creativity that can be found by browsing skins. You can find a lot of high quality looking artwork, some really awesome real life faces, as well as a bunch of skins from popular streamers. Overall, just a ton of what the f is that? Okay, um, alright, well it's certainly unique, I'll give you that monkey man. Anyways, for some of these reasons, you will see a ton of people looking to purchase streamer skins on the auction house. So, how can you take advantage of streamer skins and look to earn some free Krypton selling skins to other players? Well, since we've already established that many players will take an interest in collecting a ton of skins in bulk for the skin points achievement, it's a great idea to try selling as many streamer skins on the auction house as possible. To do so, you want to find as many streamers and content creators as you can who have skins available for free. For example, for following most Twitch streamers in Clash of Streamers, you'll receive their free follow skin. For YouTube content creators in Clash of Streamers, you can subscribe to their channel to receive their subscription skin for free. And for Facebook content creators, you can like their page to receive their like skin for free. Of course, not everybody will have skins enabled for a follow, subscription, or a like, so you can always check on the Gaming for Good skins page for a full list of streamers and content creators who offer skins for free. Once you've collected a bunch of these skins for free, you can try selling them on the auction house using the smart pricing system. It's almost a guarantee that there will always be people going around trying to collect a ton of cheap skins from the auction house cheapest skins queue since this is a quick and easy way to increase your skin points achievement. I think you'll find that by collecting a ton of skins for free and selling them for extremely cheap prices on the auction house, you can quickly accumulate a decent amount of Krypton. Now let's take a look at pet skins. Why would players want to collect pet skins? There are actually quite a few reasons for this, more so than streamer skins in fact. To start, there are a lot of achievements for collecting pets. For example, as you collect a ton of pets, you'll be earning the standard pet collection achievement. As you collect unique shiny pets, you'll be earning the shiny pet achievement. And as you collect unique colored pets, you'll be earning the colored pet achievement. Each of these achievements will improve the luck score, making it easier to get even better and more rare pets in the future. 
So by default, players already have a very good reason to buy pets on the auction house simply due to achievements. There are also various cosmetic reasons that players would want to collect a ton of pets. Pets can be placed on buildings, and many players will probably want to find the coolest looking pets for each building. Not only that, if you collect every pet for a building, you unlock a legendary effect on that building. So, there will probably be quite a few people that simply want to pimp out their main menu and make it look as cool as possible with shiny pets, colored pets, and legendary building effects. But wait, there's more. Shiny pets can be used to create colored pets, so you will probably have players looking for shiny pets with the goal of creating colored pets, or maybe even exporting these shiny pets to the blockchain with the goal of renting them out to other players to earn doobie. I could probably think of a lot more reasons if I tried hard enough, but I think you get the point. There are a ton of uses for pets. So, how can you earn some free Krypton from this then? Well, for starters, the first thing you should do is make sure that you are doing your absolute best to get as many shiny pets as possible. This means that you need to complete entire weekly events for the shiny pet rewards, you need to make sure that you are collecting 50 pets per day through GeoPet Go or Match 3, and lastly, you need to make sure you have captured each faction's hatchery in GeoPet Go and are receiving your 50 eggs per day. Additionally, you could equip some of the luck increasing abilities on your active pets to ensure that you have the best possible chance of getting some really good shiny pets. After doing all these things, you should have yourself set up perfectly to have the best possible chance of getting shiny pets. Assuming you get some shiny pets, what exactly should you do with them? You have two options. For option number one, you could sell them directly on the auction house. By doing this, you would see some success almost for sure. Shiny pets are rare enough that you would honestly probably be able to sell even the ugliest looking shiny rare pet. For option number two, you could try to use your shiny pets to create color pets and then sell those color pets to other players. Of course, the profitability of this method completely depends on how easy it is for you to create colored pets, as well as how in-demand colored pets are. If you are matching two shiny legendary pets together, the chances of producing a colored pet in match 3 would be 75%. On the other hand, if you are matching one shiny legendary pet together with one normal pet, you would have a 50% chance of passing a unique color to the child pet. These odds are pretty good, but what if you're matching only a shiny epic pet or a shiny rare pet with another pet? Well, then your odds of passing a unique color to the child pet would be only 5% and 0.5% respectively. Obviously, those are pretty terrible odds, so in cases like that, you really shouldn't even try to go for a colored pet. You're much better off trying to sell any of your shiny rare and shiny epic pets on the auction house directly. However, if you have any shiny legendary pets, you should try to create as many colored pets as possible and then try selling those first. It's very possible that if you're lucky enough, you could get a colored pet business going and steadily sell colored pets to other players. If you don't have any luck with that, then of course you could simply sell the shiny legendary pet, which would probably sell really easily. While you'll likely have more success selling shiny pets and colored pets on the auction house, you could still sell any random pets that you come across. Because of that first achievement for collecting a ton of pets, as well as the legendary effects on buildings, any random pets will probably sell in the auction house. Therefore, if you are all out of shiny pets and colored pets to sell, you should try throwing your rare pets on the auction house in hopes of some players snatching them up off of the cheapest pet skins queue. Or, you can try selling random legendary pets which are needed to unlock the legendary effects for some buildings. Simply bring up the pet menu for a few buildings, find some legendary pets which are needed to unlock the legendary effect for that building, and try selling them. With a little bit of luck, you'll find yourself earning some Krypton selling pet skins this way. Now that we've talked about pet skins, let's take a look at loot cards. Why would players want to collect loot cards? Well, there's one obvious reason that players might want your loot cards. If they are unclaimed, they can contain a lot of in-game loot, or they might even hold real-world value. By subscribing to Athene Live on Twitch, for example, you get the rare Save the Children loot card which gives you 1 million gems. This is an example of a loot card that will provide you with some in-game loot. You can also get the Death Train loot card after your first game of Slot Bingo. This is an example of a loot card with real-world value, since the game Death Train costs roughly $10 to purchase on Steam. If you were to sell one of these loot cards on the auction house unclaimed, then the buyer would be able to claim the 1 million gems or get a Steam key for the game Death Train. While these are just two example loot cards, it should give you a clear idea of the potential to earn Krypton selling unclaimed loot cards. People might just want the loot from the loot cards when they purchase them off the auction house. 
On the other hand, claimed loot cards have quite a bit of value as well. Similarly to streamer skins and pet skins, there are also some achievements for collecting loot cards, specifically claimed loot cards. As you collect more claimed loot cards, you will earn more achievements, granting you some pretty significant combat buffs. Any players that are looking to progress far in the campaign tower, boss tower, and the arena will eventually need to get a bunch of claimed loot cards to improve their teams. So, how can you earn some Krypton off of your loot cards then? Well, for starters, you probably won't get very many loot cards unfortunately, so you don't really have a ton of possibilities for how to trade them. If you're purely a free-to-play player, then your main loot card will be the Death Train loot card that you get from your first slot bingo game. However, if you do happen to get more loot cards, and if your primary goal is to maximize your Krypton, then you should first try to sell your loot cards as unclaimed loot cards. Since unclaimed loot cards are, well, unclaimed, they will probably be a lot more expensive to take into account the loot players will get for claiming them. Selling them as unclaimed loot cards means more potential Krypton for you. There will probably always be some people that are looking to buy unclaimed loot cards purely for the loot. For example, some players might be earning a ton of Krypton passively, and they might want to exchange that passive Krypton for gems. To do so, they might look to the auction house to buy some unclaimed, rare, save the children loot cards, so they can get the extra million gems for free. This is a possibility with pretty much every loot card. Well, maybe not the Death Train loot cards, seeing as everybody gets one for free. But, most unclaimed loot cards will probably have potential buyers. However, if you ever have some bad luck trying to sell your unclaimed loot cards, simply claim them yourself, and then try to sell them claimed. If there aren't any people looking to buy your unclaimed loot cards, there will definitely be some other players looking to maximize their loot card achievements by purchasing as many loot cards as possible. So, if I had to sum this up into three different points, you should do the following. 1. Get as many free streamer skins as possible and sell them on the auction house for as cheap as possible. 2. Get as many shiny pets as possible, sell your rare and epic shiny pets on the auction house, and use your shiny legendary pets to create colored pets, and then sell those colored pets. Pets. If the colored pets aren't selling well or aren't selling at all, sell your shiny legendary pets instead. 3. Try selling your loot cards as unclaimed loot cards first to try to earn more Krypton from them. And if that fails, try selling them as claimed loot cards. If you follow these three points and use the smart pricing system, it's very likely that given enough time, you will earn quite a bit of free Krypton. And that's all I've got to talk about for this auction house trading guide. I know that was probably quite a bit of information, but honestly, there is a lot that goes into earning Krypton off of the auction house, and I feel like I barely scratched the surface here. Hopefully you learned something, and if you did, definitely leave a like and subscribe for more. A lot more Clash of Streamers content on the way. Until the next time.